What's happening guys, Chris VA Travels, back up here in Maryland, kind of my sister state. I'm here in Charles County, uh, eastern part of the state, maybe about a half an hour, 35 minutes south of DC. And I'm going to visit the home of Thomas Stone, founding father, signer of the Declaration of Independence. And there it is. It's called Harvard Adventure. Hope I pronounced that right. Started building that thing in 1771. I'm signed up for the 1030 tour. Starts in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna knock that out and then I'm gonna go back to the visitor center, which uh, it's maybe about a 10 minute walk. Uh, and there's a museum back at the visit visitor center I'm going to check out. And up here is the family cemetery. Here he is, Thomas Stone, born 1743. Maryland Patriot and let me see is this it William Stone uh, I see a Thomas Stone right there yeah okay that's him 1743 I can see Margaret Graham and some pretty old tombstones down here you just got a few uh, initials let's see, let's see a signer of the Declaration of Independence Check that guy sworn around. All right, here is his grave site. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over to the uh, to the big house, and I think maybe that's the path. No, I see a path over here. Yeah, all kinds are. Is that a vulture kind of circling? It's a pretty long wingspan. And yeah, okay. Nicely cut path leading to the house and plenty of outbuildings I I'm gonna check out as well. To tell you a little bit about Thomas Stone, he was known as a reluctant revolutionary. Uh, it means he was in favor of reconciliation with England up until the last minute. He su supported the Olive Branch petition, uh, the thing King George pretty much threw in the trash can, didn't read. And uh, yeah, he voted to leave pretty much at, at the last minute when he knew uh, war was, uh, was inevitable. So yeah, ended up signing the Declaration of Independence by 2nd, 1776. And yeah, so 1771, he started building this thing. While he was building it, his father died. So uh, then uh, four, I'm sorry, five of his brothers and sisters they ended up moving in. So the house ended up being bigger than I originally anticipated. And there are about four miles of hiking trails uh, going back. I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to uh, knock all that out. Yeah, these things are still circling over there. I think I meet over here, yeah, the far side for my tour. So I see a barn back there and the uh, map showed, I forgot to grab the map, uh, the map showed a, a couple other outbuildings. All right, see what this thing says. The Stones of Maryland. Reading the plaque, plenty of prominent stones. Down here, you've got John Hoskins Stone, one of his six younger brothers, Maryland governor, helped George Washington raise money to build the new nation's capital. William Stone, the first Protestant governor, and remember, of course, Maryland was originally a Catholic colony, and uh, related to Lord Baltimore. Okay, so the stones go back to Lord Baltimore. And here he is, Thomas, right here. Uh, served in the Continental Congress, of course, signed the uh, Declaration of Independence, like, like I had said, and Frederick Stone, an attorney uh, who defended Samuel Mudd, who, uh, who shacked up uh, John Wilkes Booth after Lincoln's assassination. 
All right, so should be just a, a couple minutes and uh, I'll meet the guide right here. Yeah, it's a 30 minute house tour. I'll come up and uh, let you read this sign. And yeah, they're open uh, Thursday through Sunday. And you'll see the times right here. Uh, they were a fan of the color blue uh, servants directory and uh, pretty neat photos on the wall all right a little setup of uh, maybe a breakfast I think I see a pancake over there a little writing desk and some pretty neat trunks down there sermon and I haven't seen one of these before, but uh, that must have been for his wife. Uh, she was ill uh, toward the end of her life. Here in the parlor, some pretty nice paneling on the wall. Postscript in convention. A little tea set. A little breakfast over there. And there's Thomas and his wife. Uh, paintings were uh, done about a year before their death and you can tell they uh, they look a little ill and here is the uh, original desk it's pretty cool they've got that and a uh, pretty nice grandfather clock right there a little rosette up there and uh, a couple wine bottles in the uh, main hallway and I'm sure you have a door on each end to get a little cross breeze going all right, so across the way, the southern kitchen, and check out these little doors. Termite damage. Brick nodging. Yeah, pretty small door right there in the evolution of Harbor Adventure. Of course, pause and read. And down here, the east room. Okay, yeah, a lot of information. LaGrange, out there in Charles County. Yeah. All right, just took the house tour. Gonna do a walk around. And this is the West Kitchen, built in 1840. And you can tell this thing uh, was built by hand. The windows aren't symmetrical. And uh, check out the wood planks right there. And yeah, it's a Georgian style house, your classic brick Georgian style house, kind of symmetrical. The add-ons on the ends aren't totally, uh, to totally matching. But yeah, Thomas lived here, like I say, five of his younger siblings lived here as well. And pretty much each family back then in colonial times, the families pretty much lived together in the same room. Uh, it wasn't like today where everybody had their uh, own individual room. And uh, yeah, a little hyphen right there. To the right is the main bedroom and to the left would be the parlor and kind of a grambling style roof. And uh, pretty neat little uh, work right there uh, under the porch. And you guessed it, the Eastern I don't have a date on that one. And another kind of breezeway passage. Whew, yeah, a little bit warmer out now. Uh, to tell you a little bit more about Thomas Stone, uh, he was madly in love with his wife. Uh, after signing the Declaration of Independence, he was assigned to, uh, hold on, just little stones right here. You have a little walk up right here. Uh, I just noticed. Uh, he was assigned to work on the Articles of Confederation. Uh, he declined uh, uh, to nurse his wife who had gotten ill. And they don't know her illness, but they think she had uh, contracted smallpox. And uh, although he did become a Maryland uh, senator, and then he also declined the Constitutional Convention. Uh, 
1787 to, uh, and that's the year his wife died, and he died of a broken heart, they say, just about four months later. Yeah. Uh, the Stone family owned the house up until 1936, so it stayed in the family hands for, for a long time. Yeah, back is uh, pretty similar to the front. And we're not too far from Port Tobacco, which leads into the Potomac. And it used to be just a few hundred yards from the house, but it's receded. And I see some kind of mismatched brickwork over here. I see a Flemish bond. You've got the uh, glazed over headers, uh, but then it quickly turns into just kind of a standard uh, yeah, it's still a Flemish bond up there. Kind of, it's just a hodgepodge of uh, brickwork. Yeah. So that's Harvard Adventure. <sighs> yeah, it sounds kind of nerdy, but one of the reasons I like visiting historic homes because it kind of it puts you there. And uh, I mean, this is pretty much the sounds they heard, the sights they saw back in 1730. Well, they weren't here in 1730, I guess for them, 1770. Uh, Maryland's not as quite as old as Virginia. But uh, yeah, another shot from over here. I think the barn is the only one that you can go inside, I, I believe they had said. Yeah, so the house barn. And yeah, things got some age to it. It looks like it was whitewashed at one time. And I thought you said you could go inside. I don't, yeah, I don't wanna try to go in if I'm not supposed to. Okay, yeah, all right, so yeah, I thought there was more. Okay, I think that's the barn you can go in, it looks like. Yeah, a little rotted on, on this end. But, all right, uh, some stone down there. So I think that might be a corn crib to the left and uh, I'll just uh, take a walk inside the barn. They told me to watch out for gophers. There are some gopher holes apparently in front of the door. And I'm gonna make my way back up here eventually. I'm only about 20, 30 minutes inside of Maryland. So not too far from where I live. I wanna come back, uh, visit the mud house that's here in Charles County. Um, they're going to, uh, you can visit Port Tobacco as well. Uh, do a little tour, I didn't know. So I'm gonna research that and eventually make my way up. Visit that. Climb this little hill. Check this out. Yep, tobacco barn. And, oh yeah, to, yeah, let you know the uh, slaves, uh, they, 10, 15 to 20, around approximately 15 slaves uh, lived on the property. Oh, okay, so they have some actual, well, kind of sort of uh, tobacco. Uh, and so pretty neat yeah all right so stick the camera in one of these little uh Sun's really coming out now. I didn't put any uh, sun protection on, but I think I'll survive. Looks like some little. Uh... All right, I'll walk over there. Go over and check out this sign. And like I say, about four miles of hiking trails. I, I wish I had the time, but. Uh... It also rained uh, pretty hard last night. I know it's gonna be a, a little bit muddy today, but yeah, I'm making my way up to Delaware. This weekend, I'm gonna be up in Dover and I'm gonna be visiting uh, John Dickinson's home. So another founding father. And welcome to Harvard Adventure. 
Yeah, so we've seen his grave, 4th of July, uh, reluctant revolutionary, like I say. Tenant house should be down this trail, so check it out. Tenant house, little porch up front. Big open field. And hopefully they're gonna have a sign saying when this thing was built. But uh, as you expect, I mean, pretty dilapidated, but. And is this maybe where the slaves lived after freedom? Okay, area closed. Okay, yeah, it just says, uh, just don't get beyond that. Yeah, tenant house, there it is. Early 1900s, maybe, built. Um, yeah, walking trail, I'm not gonna continue on though. But, yeah, not totally falling apart, not, not in good shape though. Yeah, well, I maybe mean, they had gutters on that thing at one time. Okay. Well, there's a quick look at the tenant house at Harvard Adventure. Okay, make my way back. So that's it for Harvard Adventure, the home of founding father Thomas Stone. And uh, yeah, just walk through the museum slash visitor center. Probably a, a good idea to knock that out first. I, I learned a little bit more about him, but I, I had arrived just before the house tour was starting, so I, I had to run back there. And yeah, a good place to check out. Uh, the tour was free, and there are plenty of other historic sites in the area. And yeah, as always, like and subscribe. And if you want to help me get out to more of these places, you can support me on Patreon. See ya.